Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? It's your friendly neighborhood content creator. Guys, welcome to another video. I wanted to talk to you guys about the Raiden Shogun and their potential rerun in Genshin Impact 2.5. Now, a lot of you guys might have the question if she's coming back or not because it honestly hasn't been too, too long since she came out. Um, I think since September of 2021. Well, it hasn't been that long, but it has been quite a while, and I can see a rerun potentially coming in 2.5 because we're, yeah, we're seeing Yaimiko actually making a return, or not a return, it's going to be released to Genshin Impact in 2.5. So, I mean, you might actually see the Raiden Shogun rerun because they're, you know, they share some sort of friendship or whatever it is that they share, and there is a potential rerun that's going to be happening for the Raiden Shogun. Alright, before you guys continue on with this video, I know you guys will enjoy this video. If you do, please consider liking this video as well, subscribing to the channel. It really does help out my channel a lot and I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys. Now, the chances of this happening could be pretty big if you know what the content is in Genshin Impact 2.5 if it relates to the story or the Archon quest if she is in it there is a chance that we actually see the Raiden Shogun incoming to Genshin Impact and I feel like that's going to be a pretty good chance for them to rerun her however I'm not quite sure if you know it's even possible for that to happen okay that was a little unusual <laughs> If, if it's even possible for that to happen but if it is it's going to be then it's going to be that time it's going to be that time frame because that's the only time that guy yeah, is going to be released and the only time that you know genshin has a chance to actually make a story quest surrounding the raiden shogun having her rerun to genshin impact now it's not a bad idea for them to actually rerun the raiden shogun because of how well she did and not to mention that a lot of people now want her even more because of her actual performance. She performs exceptionally well. She's good in every single team. Her energy recharge is slim to none compared compared to everyone. Like you can't compare her at all. It's just, she's just so good as a support character, as a DPS character for seven seconds. She's really, really good now a lot of people are going to have their opportunity to actually summon on this character if she does have a rerun and oh that's not a bad thing having you know a final hurrah for the character once a new region comes out right so it makes the most sense for them to actually release Raiden shogun as well so if there is you know if the stars do align that there is going to be a Raiden shogun rerun because of one story quest relations two because of Yaimiko and three if there's any other thing to do with the Raiden Shogun is their chance especially because Tumor is going to be coming out eventually I guess I should say but it is going to be coming out in the upcoming updates and yeah we're seeing an end to Inazuma unfortunately even though this was so good I loved Inazuma and I cannot wait to see more regions coming out. Alright, so what exactly is so special about the Raiden Shogun that people actually want to summon on her? Well, if we, I mean, I could just go over some of her stuff. Currently, she has a pretty unique kit. So the Raiden Shogun has the elemental skill in which she can apply electro damage in a certain AoE, I guess you could say. And it initiates every one second or something like that after hitting an opponent. And it sort of allows you to increase your elemental burst damage bonus after doing. This is pretty big because obviously the Raiden Shogun, you know, having... This is pretty big because this allows your, you know, all your characters to have an increased elemental burst damage. It's going to increase the strength of it depending on the amount of the uh, energy you guys have. So if you have a bunch of characters that have all 80 bursts, this is going to output the most amount of damage. But if your characters have like 60, 40, whatever, it's going to deal less damage, but still is going to deal more. It's still amazing. That's why her kit is just so good. Not to mention her <laughs> elemental burst deals so much base damage at you know out of nowhere and you get a resolve bonus so you also get resolve stacks that you assume these stacks and then you are able to gain energy you gain 2.5 of the energy restoration as each hit which is 
really really good especially because this lasts for seven seconds and the energy cost for this ult is 90 which is the most out of any ultimate in in the current game it makes sense because of how powerful it is so yes um she has an amazing amazing ultimate she has an amazing kit not to mention uh, this stuff right here obviously this ends to her resolve stack so this is really important for your kit and the other thing is each percentage above 100% of energy recharge this increases her energy restoration from the burst as well as increases your electro damage bonus this is a really really good especially if you're stacking elemental uh, or not elemental if you're stacking energy recharge on her that way you don't actually need to run you don't need to run another electro damage goblet rather but it is recommended if you do have under that amount but yes guys the riding shogun is awesome i highly suggest having this character in your roster she's amazing and th there's a good reason why everybody wants her she's just really really strong and she looks amazing her whole storyline is awesome as well all right so currently this is my favorite like team to run the raiden shogun with you have eula you have the raiden shogun obviously you have zhongli and you have bennett you could run other characters obviously but the shongli shred for physical resistance or whatever super super nice not to mention if instead of bennett you could have diona in order for you to actually battery eula this is also pretty viable as well however if you find yourself not having zhongli you could just run official now the energy recharge is off the roof pretty good stuff here now obviously i'm gonna try this team right here in the abyss and now obviously this team currently is pretty outdated because the new abyss absolutely destroys any single you know character and without if you don't have a proper healer so bennett even though he's a good healer he's going to get destroyed because he's not a proper proper healer like maybe chi chi you know kokomi maybe even Jean. These are like proper healers that are going to fully heal you at one point, right? So that is why it could be pretty iffy and pretty outdated, but we're going to try it anyways. All right, I'm going to be adding some crit. It's not that much, but it is a decent amount. Here we go. So what I'd like to do is have the whole shield, the geo shield up and running, and then I just pop off. Obviously, I have to use the the elemental skill from the Raiden Shogun in order to get that bonus damage that it, you know I was talking so much about. It's super super good and my Eula just absolutely destroys after that. However as you guys can see there is a good reason why this team is pretty pretty outdated. Really that great to have Eula currently because obviously we want these guys to sort of group up together and it's kind of hard to do that. However, the Raiden Shogun does outperform herself here because these guys are weak to electro damage. So the Raiden Shogun just pops off here. And uh, yeah, he was pre it's pretty good with the Raiden Shogun. Zhongli is just way too good. Um, yeah, this is where the um, the energy recharge problem comes along and why you would want to run Diona instead. Because you kind of don't get your burst back fast enough. But here we go anyways. And I should be doing enough damage to deal with both of these guys. Yep. Alright, for this part, uh, it actually destroys. So, this is actually a really good area for this team currently. Because they just sort of group up together. And, you know, it just it, it does nicely. That's, that's, that's all I gotta say. But if you don't have the burst, it kind of does suck. So, we're gonna have to wait until we get the burst here. Obviously, Bennett needs to do some energy recharge here. And the Raiden Shogun will ultimate after I use all of, all of these guys' ultimate. So, here we go. Bang. Now, do a little bit of this. I use her ult. I can use the Raiden's ult. Because we have enough here. As you guys can see, her damage is pretty good. It could be even stronger if you have the proper... Alright, we get a little bit more crit here as well. Do not forget about that. And here we go. Now, these guys are a little annoying, but it should be fine right here. So you guys can see, Superconduct is also being like always, always applied here because of the Raiden Shogun and Eula together, which is so, so good. 
And here we go. We just use all our burst here. This enables us to allow um, right to gate a lot of the you know the burst particles that she needs. The the stacks, the resolve stacks. So that's really really good as well. Here we go. Dodge those. We sort of want to attract them to the corner here. Boom. Super fun charge attacking with her too. Because it staggers these guys as well, which is really beneficial. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Bye.